you just saw. With this palette, this was the Lilac Twinkle palette. And so I swatched all 12 colors on my eye with dry brush and no eye primer. Just so you can get a feel of how it would play on a completely on its own. Of course, some of you will choose to probably put concealer or uh, prime your eye or prime the brush or use your finger. Anyway, I just used this e.l.f. brush, like a little wide thumb brush, a little wide thumb brush for the mattes. And then I used this other brush for the shimmers. Now I'm not sure about this angle for putting shimmers on because it kind of, for the shape of my eye, kind of kept getting caught up in the crease higher than I wanted it to, but also it kind of worked out well. So I think that was really just me and a learning curve. And those were the results. So the colors I think that worked best for me in this palette were one, all the shimmers. <laughs> the first shimmer that I swatched was kind of hard to get on the eye. But the others also seem like this one especially didn't seem to need much uh, like force. But that first one needed a little force and I think it's because maybe the particles are bigger and it still came out nicely. Anyway, so all the shimmers work really well and the mattes that I like the most were this hot pink and this muted pink here. This muted pink here. This pink, this pink, this beige, and this purple. The purple was alright. Like, I feel like the purple could do something if you layered it with something else. And then these pinks also were okay. This pink was better than this pink for me. This pink was just... This beige actually was even better than this pink. So this pink ranks last in this palette for me. That beige ranked better because it could be a soft, um, little transition action like for people who like to uh make their eye all pasty before they put colors on this is nice but also if you just want a soft wash of beige maybe to i have no idea what you use it for but whatever it still looked better than this one did. but other than that like the mats my two favorite mats were these two and i think my favorite shimmers were these two Actually, my favorite shimmer was this one, and maybe this one. The shimmers are kind of hard. I really like all of them. And what I have on my eyes right now is this shimmer on as a base, and then that shimmer on top. So this is the topper, and this is the base. And then I got this eye right there. Mm. Isn't that nice? So the shimmers in here are fantastic. On the back it tells you that they're formulated as eyeshadows and blushes. So like the two that I put on, one the topper was the eyeshadow and the base was the blush. These three are also labeled as blushes. This one will work the best as a blush. This one could work as a blush if you're more cool toned. And this one well, we know how I feel about that one. Anyway, and then also says it just it gives you a little eye map, a little face map in the back. They all do. So it also saying that these three are blushes. I blush, I blush, and then blush, I blush. <laughs> So it seems to me that the things formulated as blushes were the ones that worked the best for me except for that one. <laughs> so that's why I like Twinkle. And I'll see you for the next palette. Bye. I almost forgot to mention, with this one and this one, these two, they didn't have as big glitter chunk kind of particles, like sparkle particles as this one especially. Turn this right side up so you're not confused. This one especially had much, really large uh, glitter chunks. And this one. And even this red here, but even the red was more like a shimmer. Like this seems, this is, not seems, this is more of a glitter. This is a glitter. 
and then these three are shimmers the this one being the softest shimmer of them all if you go in order it'll be like from softest shimmer to more outstanding shimmer this is the softest this is the softest shimmer that purple followed actually by the red that second softest and then I think the pink and then this purple here so it really goes from softest to bigger shimmer it goes one two three four five six with the biggest glitter chunks mm. So now you've seen all the swatches for Blue Hawaii. Right now I have that yellow on my eye. Just like bang bang. I did this mainly not so much as an eye look, although it could be an eye look if you threw some mascara on or left it as is, do what you want. But mainly to show you what I'm about to say. And the mattes in this, especially with this peach color right here, it like exploded with the brush and I didn't know what was going on. It was like, it was mayhem for a while. As you can see, there's a big dip in it now. I thought to myself when I was using this blue when the same thing was happening all over again, I thought to myself, Okay, I don't think it's the the eyeshadows more for big. I think it's you. So what I did was put the brush down and I put I used my finger for the blue and realized it was coming on so much better. So I did it again for the peach and the same thing happened and then I did it again for the yellow and the same thing happened. So I can only imagine the same thing that happened for this deeper coral here. But the hot pink went on with the brush fine, but everything else that was giving me trouble when I just used my fingers, like dry finger, and then prime it, dry eyeball, everything. And they come out so much better. So if you're looking for the pop of color that you want out of these mattes, either use the proper brush, I guess the more compacted brush. The brush I was using was really insufficient. So if you're having a problem with these mattes, try changing your brush to your finger or changing your brush to a different brush. It's transferring through my crease, but it's okay. My man just says more compact brush. He's pantomiming in the background for some reason. If you didn't know already, so if you're having a hard time with some mattes in certain shadows, keep that in mind. It might just be the brush you're using. Try it with your finger, and if you get better payoff with your finger, then try using a more compact and sturdy brush. Oh yeah, a sponge. One of the sponges that you can get in giant packets, really. That is an espresso machine. <laughs> that is something about the mattes here. Because at first I was ready to tell y'all like, I was having so much trouble with this peach until I realized, oh, it's not the peach, it's me. And I apologize, I'm sorry. But my favorite colors would probably be this yellow, honestly, out of the mattes. All the mattes are really nice. They're very, very soft, super powdery, so there's fallout everywhere. But, you know, my favorite shimmers, honestly would be this blue down here and this gold over here all the other shimmers are really good oh except for this one <laughs> but i think that's more me than it is the shimmer it didn't do anything that the other shimmers didn't do i just didn't like how it looks someone else this might be your jam right here i guess the coloring of it just didn't do it for me i have no idea also it was a little more the lime green shimmer was a little more powdery than all the other shimmers. The back of this, as usual, it has your little palette guide, which you can ignore. So that's all I really have to say about this one. My winners are this color, this color, the yellow, and honestly, maybe even the, the hot pink. This blue, when you put on one layer of it, it gets deeper, so. That's something. It's very teal. You might just look at it and be like, oh, look, a blue. And you're probably getting fooled by the, by the box. Anyway, a very nice colorful palette that shows up really nicely when you're putting it on correctly. All right, that's it. See you next time. Thanks for watching.